Sonny Donnelly, IFL TV in association with MGM Marbella. <coughs> I'm here at the York Hall Bethnal Green with Danny Cassius Connor over his fourth round TKO win against Andy Harris for the Masters title. Dan, talk me through the fight. Um, basically, we just went out in the first round, have a little look, set my stall out and see what was going on. So we went out there, see that he was a bit nervous when he was throwing his shots and I was able to start timing him with some good shots on my own. And then in the first round I see I reddened his eye up and cut it, so I just kept targeting that area. And then obviously, stoppage come from a cut under and a cut over, but yeah, it felt good tonight, it felt strong. Um, it's a new Danny Connor you're going to see from now on. You did look strong in the ring, it looked like you, like obviously the shots that he did throw, they weren't really bothering you, you were throwing back and he was getting hurt a lot. Yeah, it's, oh, a, it's our strength, we've been doing a lot of strength and conditioning as well with um, Lawrence Falcon, like, he's a wicked, wicked strength and conditioning coach, he does Larry Ekandayo's S&C as well, and I feel like a lot, a lot stronger and a lot more explosive since I've been working with him, and uh, we've been working on certain shots, like strengthening the area certain shots and that. So obviously when I'm throwing them shots now, the power's in there, you know, I'm making the weight properly now as well. Um, obviously there's a lot of stuff that I need to work on, like there's loads of little areas that I knew that I needed to sort out there, but that will all come, so I'm work in progress. So Andy Harris, tough opponent, and you made him look like, not amateur, but you, you boxed him well and he, you didn't give him a chance to sort of come out of his own shell. Yeah. Is that what you went into the fight wanting to do? Yeah, well listen, Andy Harris, is it, like he's, listen, his record's uh, Poor record, but he's, he's not been stopped many times. I think he's only been stopped four times, and three of them guys are like Martin Ward, top quality. Do you know what I mean? He's WBC international champion. Luke Campbell needs no introduction, and Ahara. Like Ahara is a big, big banger. So them three guys, those are three guys that I know that have stopped him. You don't really, you don't stop him unless you know you can dig a little bit and you can get him out of there. I can punch a lot harder than my record suggests. And now I've got Lawrence Parker helping me as well with uh, and Freddie Brown and my nutrition. I know, that, uh, I know that I'll be stopping a lot more people. I know that you, boxing is sort of a passion for you. It's not sort of a money maker because I know you go out early, you work, yeah, mate. You, you sell your tickets and then you, you box because you love the sport. Uh, what do you think, like, a lot of people, I think some boxers take it for granted that they, they're going to get money. Yeah, of course. Listen, you know, like, to be fair, I struggled with tickets for this show and uh, Steve and Josh, like, I said something to them about it and they helped me out a bit and give me a bit of leeway so I haven't come away empty-handed sort of thing. But um, it is hard, yeah, of course it's hard. Unless you've got that Olympic pedigree and you sign up with a big, big company, it is hard to get out there. You know, I come on from when I beat Evangelou with Tyler Goodjohn and then I sort of made my name there and I've managed to keep myself at a certain level. So it's not as bad as it could be. But like you said, mate, I'm up at three o'clock every morning working in a warehouse and um, it's hard work, do you know what I mean? But listen, it's what we do, we love the sport. No point in complaining about it, it's just the path I chose sort of thing. And uh, hopefully um, it's on to bigger and better titles from now. Hey, when can we next see you out? Hopefully, uh, September hopefully, against, you know, hopefully it'll be against Divine. Or, you know, I'd go up to like well away and fight Ricky Boylan, because that's a big, big fight for our area. I'd love that fight. But um, we'll just see what happens. We'll see what, what comes off, if the Boylan fight can be made or if the Divine fight can be made. Um, then I'd love them fights, but I'll leave it to my manager and Wilkie and then we'll see what happens from there. If the Boylan fight did, if you could make it, would you sort of stay at that weight or would no, you just drop back down? Well, I don't know. You, don't, you never know. It's all about opportunities in boxing, ain't it? I'm strong at lightweight and I, I can be I'm strong and all right well, so it's all about what opportunities come. And I'd just like to say um, thank you to my sponsors, Taurus Scaffolding, Ryan Foster, um, H Freight, Harry Shaw, um, Mama K's K Company, that's my mentor from sponsor Maxine Green, and uh, Stains Quality Caravan, Stevie Paul. Without them people helping me out, I would be in deep shit, so thanks a lot for helping me out. You've uh, right sorted me out nicely, yeah. Right, well, big up the sponsors, Dan, and Top Man yeah. with them tonight. Go and celebrate, and hopefully we'll see you back in the ring soon. Team CC. Cheers.